What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today I have got another money method for you guys. You guys seem to be enjoying these legit ways to go and make money on Red Dead. I myself have been grinding these out non-stop for the past couple of weeks trying to get myself as much money as possible for that summer update and I'm sure you guys are doing the exact same thing. But for today we are yet again looking at dynamic events but we are not mixing it with Stranger Missions. We are strictly doing dynamic events. Events. Dynamic events are a similar amount of time to Stranger Missions. They last about 20 minutes if you go for the right ones, which is the rescue and escort or just go and escort someone. But you can go and get a little bit more money, a little bit more XP and a little bit more gold. And when I say a little bit, I am honestly just talking a little bit. It'll be like an extra dollar. It'll be like an extra 20 XP, maybe an extra two gold nuggets per dynamic event. But once you start doing these dynamic events over and over, over again that one dollar you're getting per dynamic event will end up being a lot more money on top of compared to if you just did stranger missions i have drawn this route up for you guys it goes across eight different points for dynamic events some of these points we've looked at before the three points in saint denis i have talked about and i did go and use that as a route but i've drawn up these eight points to go for different hunting locations so to begin with i start all the way down at braveway manor that is the location that i have always started and made Mainly because what happens is I know I'm gonna go to St. Denis at some point so I spawn all the way over in Tumbleweed and then go and either fast travel to Rhodes and then start down there or I go and travel all the way from Tumbleweed all the way across right down to Braithwaite Manor and that is just the closest one for the distance that I'm traveling so I start at the bottom of Braithwaite Manor if there is no dynamic event I just head round and go to the next one I do not race from one dynamic event to the next what I do is just take my time as always I keep saying the important thing with Red Dead Online to be efficient and make money is to go and take your time. So if I go to Braithwaite Manor and there is no dynamic event, I slowly take my horse all the way up to the next dynamic event. But on the way, if I come across any animals, if I see anything whatsoever, I'll make sure I'm hunting, make sure I kill it, try and get a perfect kill if you can, and then go and stall out on your horse or your satchel and then go to the next dynamic event. The important thing is that you're hunting constantly. When you get a dynamic event, you'll either have to go and rest rescue someone and then go and escort them back to a location, maybe their home, maybe workplace, anything like that, or you'll come across a dynamic event where you just need to go and escort someone. No matter which dynamic event you get, make sure that you are taking your time with it. The timer will not pop up straight away for a dynamic event. That is the difference between a dynamic event and a stranger mission. But if you do take too long to go and do a dynamic event for the last five minutes of that dynamic event, that is when the timer will show up. And that is when I take it as an indication that I should start heading my way way towards the yellow cursor which is on my map that is where you need to go and drop off that NPC even when I get to that location I do not drop off that NPC until it gets to the last 30 seconds making sure that I take it in the last 30 seconds means that I get the most amount of money out of this dynamic event whilst this dynamic event is going on I make sure that I hunt everything I come across so I'm not just sitting there waiting right beside the location to go and drop them off that would mean I will get around about $20 if I just sat there and waited for that that timer to pop up and go down to the last 30 seconds but if I was to go off into Saint Denis which we all know is a great place to go and do some hunting where you can go get birds alligators boars deers anything like that definitely go over there and then once I've done about 20 minutes of hunting in that area that is the time when I need to go and hand in that NPC the timer will be coming down to the dying minutes I go and hand it in at 30 seconds get that $20 from the dynamic event and with everything that I did through hunting I would get at least six Sometimes I'm pushing even higher than that. It depends on the animals that you hunt and what type of quality you get them in. Depending where you are on this route that I've drawn up depends whether or not you are going to go for the next dynamic event or whether or not you're going to go to the butchers. So what I end up doing is I start at Braithwaite Manor and I work my way all the way around to the top of Saint Denis. Then I go all the way back down to Saint Denis and that is when I go and hand everything into the butchers. And then once I go all the way back over to Braithwaite, I start again. If I went over to Braithwaite and I got a dynamic event great I'm gonna do that dynamic event I'm gonna get the money I'm gonna do the hunting I'm gonna wait until the last 30 seconds to go and hand it in I'm not once I go and complete that I'm not gonna go all the way to the butchers it is a complete waste of time I'm gonna carry on going straight through this route to see what else I can get so if I go to the next one and I get lucky and there is another dynamic event there yet again I'm gonna go and take my time gonna do the 20 minutes I'm gonna do hunting I'm gonna hand that NPC in the last 30 seconds the chance of this happen is slim 
but it does sometimes happen. At some point, you're gonna go through this route and you'll get two, three, maybe even four of these dynamic events. Sometimes you'll go through and you'll only get one. Either way, I make sure I go through this route, try and get as much money as possible, come down to Saint Denis, and only once I'm in Saint Denis and I've gone through those three different locations for dynamic events, that is when I'm like, okay, now I can reset, go and sell everything at the butchers, and then go and make my way across again. Anyway, guys, that is the money method that I have been doing over the past two days, and it has helped me get to that 13k, which is very good because only in the last money method that I did, which was two days ago, I only just managed to reach 12k, and now we've easily smashed 13k, so that is awesome to go and see. Hopefully, I'll be able to go and hit that 15k mark before the summer update, and that means we have a lot of money to play with once those new rolls come out, so I'm very, very excited for that. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, but for now, I'm going to see you.